nonprofit organization in Watertown is helping moms and dads who have children on the autism spectrum. They've set up all kinds of events where families and children can play together. My guest is Christine Faressa, president and founder of Sun, Moon and Stars Incorporated. Welcome to you. Thank you. All right, first of all, why is this organization called Sun, Moon and Stars? That's a great question. So when we were thinking about a name for our organization because we began back in 2016 as a supper club, as a way for families to get together, just to enjoy a meal out judgment free. No matter if their kids were having a hard time or not, we didn't care, we were there to support each other. So as we're thinking of names, I kept coming back to the fact that I read to my son, I love you to the moon and back. And it just kept hitting me something about the moon, something about celestial. And I said, you know what? Our kids are the light of our lives, our sun, moon, and stars. And that's where it came from. Beautiful. All right, this is personal to you. You sure. talked about your son. Um, why did you feel the need to start this organization? So when my husband and I, um, you know, we received the diagnosis for Dominic. Dominic was about three and a half years old. He and I really knew nothing about autism. All we knew is these poor kids had no friends. They weren't invited to um, birthday parties. They were bullied. So. We didn't want that future for Dominic at all. So Mark and I decided to kind of sit back and say, what can we do? The idea of the supper club came about just for need. We, we went out to dinner often and we were struggling a bit. He had a hard time um, sitting down, accommodating himself and so on. So at that point, we did that, it was successful. We had some families come together and we said, you know what? This is such a serious thing having autism. Now we're looking at all these services that our son needs within the school district, outside of school. How about something fun for the families, fun for the kids? So we really started looking at different holiday events and activities that really, you know, neurotypical families take for granted, Anne. Sure. You know, they can go no problem. Our community, you know, they, they have their struggles. So we started working with March Farm. We did a pumpkin picking hayride. We started working with the Railroad Museum of New England, and that's where our Autism Friendly Santa Express started. So it started with these different events and activities just to bring some joy to families. Do you just serve Watertown, and, and how many folks are involved in all of these events? Ooh. So we really started off small in Watertown, but it really is the greater Watertown and surrounding areas. So depending on the event, and activities. Some of our events accommodate 15 to 20 kids, some 30 to 50, some 80 plus. When we do the Santa train, that has grown so much that last season we had over 600 people join us. So it really depends. We as special needs parents are used to traveling for different events and activities. So really, we provide opportunities. So if, if it's a fit for your child and it's something they like, whether it's Lego, whether it's art, whether it's jumping in a trampoline park, we'll travel. So we don't adhere to really any zip code, we service anyone who wants to join us. At the end of the day, what kind of peace does this give you and other families? When you see families smiling, families laughing, children who can't wait to see their friends, you know, it's built a really nice community where it's not just the kids, but really for the parents. So they see each other at all these different events and activities. And by default, they're getting a sort of social skills because many of them come to a lot of the same events and activities. But seeing that happiness and seeing that peace because you're with your people, that matters. It matters. And it really, it, it hits right here. And finally, how can the public at large help you grow your program? Really, um, you know, we are a 501c3 organization. Um, we are a nonprofit. We do a lot of fundraising. We have our annual gala coming up this summer. Um, and actually, um, your colleague Sarah Cody is our MC for that Beautiful. event, which is amazing. <laughs> so that event funds, you know, 75% of all the activities and things we do. So we're always looking for sponsors. We're always looking for donations for our. Um, for our silent auctions and so on and so forth. But you know, we have a website, we, ha we run a gear store, so we do, do sell different t-shirts and different things. We do a lot of things to try and raise funds. Really, we're happy with a dollar, $10, whatever it is, because every little bit goes back to help the families in some way. Christine, thank you so much for being here and telling us all about your awesome organization. Thank you. You bet. And if you'd like to know more about Sun, Moon, and Stars, go to WTNH.com for the News 8 app. To be a parent of a special needs child is, is constantly challenging, right? So if you get together with others who are experiencing this, there's safety there. Um, as she said, they, they have their own friends. And she's making a huge difference. That whole organization is in the lives of families. It's community, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What a great idea yeah. from someone who knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be back here with more in just a minute.